Hi, in today's video I would like to show you how you can easily split, join or rip entire DVD or multiple files within a second without the need of re-encoding entire video or different sections and joining them together which takes a lot of time and the program that I'm talking about is called TS Maxer. You can find it just by googling it and then here's the website and then you can download it from here website is called videohelp.com software TS Maxer uh, LR so you can easily find it download it and I'll show you step by step how I do it so before I start to show you how I work with TS Maxer I want to give you an example I was trying to encode join or split different files because I'm working on transferring my videos from uh, old VHS tapes onto a digital format and the whole video takes a lot of time and you have different sections different uh, things are shown in the video and I just want to split it and then upload it uh, if you want to do it using uh, Sony Vegas it takes a lot of processing power and as you can see right here this was my original resolution 720 by 480 and the file size is about 248 then I was trying to convert it into MPEG by using different settings and I'm getting almost the same size except when I change the resolution and then I have almost 600 uh, max uh, but that's not the point the point is that it takes a long time to even encode four minute video and you have to spend at least five minutes to maybe even 20 minutes depending on a uh, speed of your computer and it takes time and there is a better way and of course uh, Sony Vegas has to re-encode everything so if you don't have a good settings then you may end up having a video with low resolution and so there is a better way I'll show you right now how I do it so there are a bunch of different programs claiming that they can uh, split and join files with no re-encoding uh, which is not true. I, I was trying at least five different ones and none of them work well except this one. This one really take uh, seconds to re-encode and that's the indication that there's no re-encoding done. They just split and join everything without changing kind of resolution and quality of the file. So how do I do it? So in this example I have my image of the DVD uh, right here. So what I'm going to do, do, as you can see, those are VOB files. This is the program, TS Maxer. So I'm going to click Add, and I'm going to point to the first file, which is going to be this one. And you click Open. Then I want all those files to be joined as one file. So I'm going to click Join, and it's going to be number two, number three number four number five now I'm gonna choose always M2TS and I'm not changing anything I'm choosing the folder where it's gonna be saved I'm just gonna put test and start maxing and so you, you will see how fast it works. It's unbelievable. If you want to join the same files using uh, any other software, Sony Vegas, it will take you probably good half an hour to 40 minutes. And this is real time. So you can see right now, maybe it's like 10 seconds have passed and we are almost done. So it's almost like, like 30 seconds. Boom, and we're done. And where is that file now? It's in my DVDs. Right here. And it's test. Boom. 4.5. That's basically the size of the DVD. I double click it. And 
It's going to play. <laughs> and have exactly the same quality and that's basically what it is uh, what you can do you can change the settings right here you can change it uh, I mean save it to blu-ray ISO blu-ray folder I've never tried those options okay so now I'm gonna show you how to split it cut it you already know how to join it so I'm going to remove all those files say I'm gonna choose that file that we've just created which is um, this one so that's this file and let's say we want to split it so enable cutting and let's say I want to do let's say 10 to actually no that's gonna be seconds so I want to do minutes. So let's do 10 minutes to 45 minutes. Okay, we're gonna, gonna be test uh, cut. Import is the same, start maxing. And as you can see, it's super lightning fast and you can see that the resolution does not change it's still my 720 by 480 interlaced frame rate is exactly the same uh, basically nothing is changing we're just cutting part of the clip See, this part takes a little bit longer, but it's still really, really fast because we need to take part of the clip out of the, uh, the original clip, but it's still super fast. So I just have to wait a couple of seconds and we'll be done momentarily. Good. So, and that's the video that we've just cut. And as you can see, it works perfectly. So I hope you enjoy my video, and this will help you choose the right program to do the right job. Enjoy. If you have any questions, send me a message. Thanks. Bye-bye.